gas exchange in the alveolian capillaries by kscience.com. These are the bronchioles entering the alveolus. These are the bronchioles entering the alveolus. And what I'm drawing now is what you might have previously known as an air sac, but this is an alveolus, one alveolus, of which we have millions in our lungs. And as you can see, we have many alveoli. This is to increase the surface area of the gas exchange surface in the lungs. So the first adaptation of the alveolus is that the alveolus is one cell thick. You can see here that the alveolus is one cell thick. So remember that the bronchial leads into an alveolus. So this is one alveolus. The plural is alveoli. So as you can see here, the alveoli have an incredible blood supply. So they're surrounded by capillaries. And that was what we're going to look at now. So what I'm drawing now is one capillary surrounding one alveolus. And just like the alveolus, the capillaries have also got a one cell thick wall. So the capillaries have got a one cell thick wall. So this here is the blood capillary with a one cell thick wall. And what I'm drawing now are the red blood cells. This shows that the capillary is one red blood cell wide. One red blood cell wide. So these here are the red blood cells that carry oxygen around the body. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So when air is inhaled, we breathe in air that contains oxygen. So the pink dots here represent oxygen that we breathe in. So this here is the oxygen in the air that we breathe in. So the oxygen is in a high concentration in the alveolus, and there is a low concentration of oxygen in the capillary. This means that the oxygen is going to diffuse from a high to low concentration through the alveolus one cell thick wall and then through the one cell thick wall of the capillary and then into the red blood cells. So the reason why the capillary's lumen is one red blood cell wide is so the red blood cell is right up against the wall of the capillary. So the oxygen has less distance to travel through the capillary and into the red blood cell. So red blood cells are then going to transport the oxygen away from the alveolus. So the alveolus has a one cell thick wall. The alveolus has a one cell thick wall. And the capillaries also have a one cell thick wall. So it's got a one cell thick wall. Now let's look at the reason why the alveolus and the capillary both have one cell thick walls. So what I'm drawing here is the one cell thick wall of the alveolus and the one cell thick wall of the capillary. So the oxygen has to diffuse across both of these walls and into the red blood cell, as you can see here. So imagine if the alveolus had walls that were two cells thick and the capillary also had walls that were two cells thick. This would mean oxygen would take longer to diffuse across the walls of the alveolus, the capillary. Therefore, there'd be a decreased rate of diffusion from inside the alveolus to the red blood cells. So there'd be less oxygen diffusing into the blood. So one cell thick walls increases the rate of diffusion of gases across the walls of the alveolus and the capillary. So the one cell thick wall increases the rate of diffusion. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So the red blood cells entering the 
capillaries at the alveolus in the lungs are going to be containing low oxygen levels and higher CO2. So the carbon dioxide is going to diffuse from the high concentration inside the blood into the low concentration of CO2 in the alveolus. So CO2 diffuses from the blood and into the alveolus. So CO2 diffuses from the blood and into the alveolus. And then when we breathe out, we exhale air, which has a higher concentration of carbon dioxide in it. So the carbon dioxide is exhaled. So the alveoli and capillaries have large surface areas. As you can see here, they both got a large surface area. So the alveoli and capillaries both have a large surface area. Large surface areas increase the rate of diffusion. There is a higher surface area of alveoli and a higher surface area of the blood capillary. That will mean more oxygen will be able to diffuse from the alveoli and into the blood. So the alveoli have a good blood supply. It's got a good blood supply so that oxygen can be transported away and this maintains the concentration gradient. The alveolus has a moist lining. It has a moist lining. This is so gases can dissolve in the moist lining to increase the rate of diffusion. So good blood supply also increases the rate of diffusion by maintaining the concentration gradient. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to attempt this extended response question. The answer will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.